Hi guys, this is Seven. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about the cosine paradox and the fractals. Before you click away, please stick with me for a few minutes. I promise this is going to be really interesting, and I will speak quickly so I won't waste your time. Okay, have you ever wondered how long the longest coastline really is? Seems like a simple question, right? Have you ever heard that the perimeter of a single snowflake could it be longer than the diameter of the entire Earth? Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Today, we are diving into a fascinating mathematical mystery that explains why these things happen. So, let's get started. First, let's talk about the coastline. Back in late 19th century, there was an adventurous explorer named L.F. Richardson, he decided to measure the length of the coastline of Britain. Sounds straightforward, right? Just grab a marine stick and start walking. But here's a catch. Richardson found that the shorter the marine stick he used, the longer the coastline appeared to be. It was mind-boggling. No matter how precisely he tried to measure, the coastline just kept getting longer and longer. This puzzling discovery is what we now call the coastline paradox. So, what's going on there? Why does the coastline keep getting longer with a smaller marine stick? Well, the coastline is not a smooth, straight line. It's full of twists and turns, big and small. The more detailed your measurement, the more of these twists and turns you capture, and the longer the coastline appears. It's like trying to measure the edge of a crumpled piece of paper. The smaller the ruler you use, the more wrinkles you measure, and the longer the edge becomes. But there's more to it. This is not just about coastlines. This idea of capturing more details the closer you look is a key part of something called fractals. All right. Let's dive into what fractals really are. A fractal is a complex shape that looks the same no matter how much you zoom in out. Imagine you have a shape and you keep zooming in. And no matter how close you look, you keep seeing the same pattern. It's like a never-ending loop of detail. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's look at some examples in nature. Take a snowflake, for instance. Each snowflake has a unique, intricate pattern. But if you zoom in on any part of the snowflake, you'll see that the smaller parts look a lot like the whole snowflake. That's a fractal. Another great example is the branching pattern of trees. Look at a big tree. The branches split up into smaller branches, and those split into even smaller branches, and so on. Each smaller branch pattern looks like a miniature version of the whole tree. This self-similar pattern is what makes it a fractal. So, fractals are pretty amazing, right? But here's where it gets even cooler. Let's talk about something called fractal dimensions. Now, don't let the term scare you off. It's actually really fascinating. Think about dimensions like this. A line is one-dimensional, a square is two-dimensional, and a cube is three-dimensional. But fractals don't fit neatly into these categories. They exist in between dimensions. Sounds wild, right? One of the coolest examples is something called the Cog Snowflake. You start with a simple triangle. Then you add smaller triangles to each side and you keep adding more triangles to each new side. The more you add, the more complex it gets. Eventually, it creates a shape that's more than a line but less than a plane. Its dimensions is actually about 1.26. Not quite 1D, not quite 2D, but somewhere in between. This idea of in-between dimensions helps us understand the complexity of fractals. They show us that dimensions can be continuous, 
not just whole numbers. It's like a whole new way of seeing the world. So, what have we learned today? First, we found that marrying something as simple as a coastline can lead to some pretty mind blowing discoveries. The coastline paradox showed us that the more detail we measure, the longer it gets, thanks to all those tiny twists and turns. Then, we dive into the world of fractals, those crazy, self similar patterns that pop up everywhere in nature, from snowflakes to trees. And we discover that fractals don't fit neatly into whole number dimensions. They live in spaces in between with fractal dimensions that blow our minds. Here's a big takeaway. In different scales, you get different measurements. It shows us that just how complex and fascinating our world really is. It's a reminder that sometimes to truly understand the world, we need to look closer and think differently. Okay, that's all that I'm sharing today. Thanks for listening. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.